What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinter Lens content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. Okay, well, um, I was going through Discord and just running through mentions recently to see if I had missed anything, and it seemed like I did. Uh, I got mentioned in the tavern a couple of days ago uh, by an account called Crutin. Now, I, I started reading what they had tagged me about or, or what, why they had tagged me and what the conversation was about. And uh, it did spark it did spark uh, an interesting thought. But before we even get into that, um, the conversation is essentially and I'll, I'll just break it down simply here. But if you remember, I believe Cruton was the same person back in like November saying that like miners were essentially going to like a, like one of the b biggest miners in the game was going to quit, <laughs> right? Like, and they were just going to be completely done with the game. I don't think that happened. We have seen the numbers go up. So take this all with a grain of salt. I, Cruton, I'm not trying to throw shade at you or anything. I'm just, I, I just don't know where you're getting your information from. And if you ever want to come on the channel and share that information with us and, uh, you know, um, let me know. Would be happy to uh, to further chat, but I'm just going based off of what I've been reading on Discord. But essentially, they're saying that February 14th, mining operations may fall off a cliff uh, because of essentially sold on reward cards, right? So they're only chasing the SPS that's locked up for four weeks and the Chaos Legion packs that they're going to get in those um, in those uh, in those reward chests. So again. Is this going to happen? This Valentine's Day massacre? I, I don't know. That's not the point of my video, actually. But the broader point uh, still stands of what they're what they're talking about here, and and that is how how is the rental market specifically going to change if many of these bot uh, operators go offline? Right? Um, I don't I don't know if that's the case. Again, I don't. We're just this is all hearsay and rumor right now. But we do know that there is a significant bot presence in the game and uh if there is just this last ditch effort to milk the system for as much as you can until the soulbound reward cards come out or even just a couple of weeks after the soulbound reward cards come out uh just to you know finish uh on staking your sps to finish on staking your or you know get as many uh chaos packs whatever the case is if that ends because the soulbound reward cards don't have you know current value uh but you know that it'll have to be some kind of delayed gratification for the bots then i do wonder how that will potentially impact the overall i do i do wonder how that'll impact the overall rental market because i mean bots are renting a ton of cards right now especially lower level cards too uh, i'm sure some of the higher level ones as well but you know most of the accounts that are playing in bronze and silver will probably not have as much of an incentive anymore so Again, I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but it is an interesting thought exercise because, um, again, I, I don't invest in cards or I don't like to invest in cards as like these long term investments for the passive income. Right. Uh, mainly, mainly because of several reasons. One, there's market fluctuations, the broader market fluctuations and then the, the market fluctuations within the game. The second thing, and I've said this before, is that I the meta that changes so dramatically can raise the value or devalue a card uh, so significantly that um, it, it's just it's just too high of a risk factor for me. And now this third thing here, which I hadn't really talked about before, but has always kind of been there if uh, if the team or community ever decides to move against the bots in a, in a very forceful way, um, and, and some even might consider the Soulbound Reward cards as a move against the bots, if they decide to stop renting and all of a sudden we see the player base have or, you know, go down by two thirds where we see really just the hardcore players, people who want to be here for the next couple of years or and longer um, that again, we don't know what that looks like, but it does seem like if it were to happen, it would be a cliff, right? All of a sudden we would just the rental market would collapse. The the bots, you know, would stop running. It might take a little bit longer to get games and all that stuff. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily good or bad. I'm not saying that I want it. Uh, I'm saying that if it happened, though, that we would deal with it and we would move forward. But it is an important thought as I do rent out some of my cards, especially a lot of the extra cards that I have right now, um, or the cards that I have that I, I don't like, for example, if I don't have enough to, if I don't have enough to like max out a card, then I, but I, I'm like maxed for gold, then I will just rent out the extras. And I'm, I'm wondering if that, that nice little passive DEC income that I get that usually goes towards leveling up my deck is going to be significantly affected by this because a lot of times they end up being like, 
level one or level two cards, or we'll just say like bronze and silver level cards, uh, because I'm just I'm just accumulating them until I max everything out that I can. So again, just not even a warning, but just something for you to think about, as it does seem like these soulbound reward cards could be around the corner within the next couple of weeks here. Uh, they did say that they wanted to get it out by the end of January, so we do have two more release dates in January. But even if it's not January, I would assume that you know the first week of February would be very much in play, and that's that's just uh, a couple of weeks from now. So either way, just something to think about, and I also do want to get your feedback on this. How would you see this playing out? I, maybe have you spoken with any bot operators or you know bot farmers? Um, I, I'm just trying to get a better read of what we can expect. Now, I do think that a lot of players are probably starting to set up their own alt accounts, which could get interesting. Uh, but if they're doing that, they may not be renting the cards out. They may just be they may just be buying the cards off the market or you know during that uh, major sale that happened in the holidays. So again, I, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on this. Um, it was just interesting. I got tagged in it. That's why that's the only reason I went down the rabbit hole. But I would uh, I, I, I am curious to know where this ends up going. And if it does come to pass, February 14th could be a very very interesting day. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. But other, other than that, guys, that's all I have. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.